Hello everyone, Amud here from Retarget Common YouTube channel and today we are going to learn very basic or first git command called git init. So before we go to the command what is git init and why do we use and what is the purpose of it, let's understand why we need something called git repository. Okay. So when you create a folder, right, when you create a folder or suppose you are creating a project okay so that project you will keep in a folder right and you are going to add different files to it so we know now that git is something or git is a tool which can help you to manage the changes in the file okay so there are so many usage uh, of git but as of now with the limited knowledge we understand that using git we can track the history of changes in a file and we can also take who has changed and what was changed so when you install the git on your system so by default it is not going to start tracking all the files okay explicitly we need to say which in which folder you need to go and check okay it's not by default any file or any folder whatever folder or directory we want git to manage okay or uh, means whatever git commands we want to use that repo must be a git repo okay we can use git commands in that git repo only and git will look for the change in the changes in the files or folders in that particular directory itself so for that we need to create a repo and we need to or uh, repo means you can say directory here so uh, let's uh, use the repo term because repo is nothing here directory so we are going to create a repo and we need to initialize it as a git repository okay git repository means then only we can go and use the git command so let's start let's see this in action so that we will understand it here i have already created one folder on my c drive my projects okay so if you remember while installing the git i ask you to select git bash installation of git bash during the installation of git so if you do right click here and uh, you see one option called git bash we have also see git gui here so we'll see that later but as of now we we need to go and use the git bash so click on it we'll see like git bash has many advantage over the command prompt in uh, in future videos of this series but yeah as of now we are going to open git bash and launch some uh, we are going to run some git commands okay all right so we have created one uh, folder my projects so inside is suppose we are going to keep multiple projects okay so let me create one simple folder and i will going to name uh, name it like my first git repo okay so this repo uh, the this folder my first git repo is a plain directory means git has no relation here git is not going to do anything here if you're going to add this uh, add any file if you're going to remove any file if i'm going to mo modify any file in this folder git is not going to check anything here git doesn't bother until we say this repo is a git repo but only saying will not have right we need to do something so for that we have a command called git init git init init stands for git initialization okay so what you need to do you need to run one command called git init that's all git init enter it so you see it's uh, print something on console that is initialized empty git repository in this one okay so we made a mistake so what we did actually we created the folder right uh, my first git repo so what we need to do we need to make the git repo this one the new directory whatever we created so first thing we need to go or we need to switch to that new folder okay cd and then we are going to run git init okay now you can see it's saying that in slides empty git repository okay empty git repository in this this is your new folder 
दिस इज न्यू फोल्डर इन साइड दिस इज क्रिएटेड ए फोल्डर कॉल्ड डॉट गेट ओके डॉट इज समथिंग फॉर लाइक हिडन फोल्डर ओके दैट्स वाई इट्स कॉल्ड हिडन मीन्स डॉट गेट इज ए हिडन फोल्डर डॉट इज जस्ट टू मेक इट हिडन सो इफ यू गो हियर इन द डायरेक्टरी यू सी डेट वी डिलीट दिस डिफॉल्ट वन सो वी क्रिएटेड वन रेपो डायरेक्टिव माय फर्स्ट गिट रेपो एंड इफ यू गो हियर वी सी वन फोल्डर कॉल्ड डॉट गेट सो मे बी फर्स्ट टाइम यू नॉट सी दिस फोल्डर इफ यू हैव नॉट इनेबल टू सी द हिडन आइटम्स सो इफ यू हैव नॉट चेक दिस वन विल नॉट सी एनी फोल्डर हियर सो टू टू सी द ऑल द हिडन फाइल्स यू टू गो टू व्यू एंड चेक दिस वन हिडन आइटम्स ओके ओके परफेक्ट सो इफ यू गो इन साइड डॉट गेट यू कैन सी दे आर डिफरेंट फोल्डर्स एंड ऑल like uh, hooks info objects refs config description head so as of now we are not going to see any uh, any of these folders because you are not going to understand that one but with the concept we, i will try to explain as much as possible so when you do to make it plain repository to a git repository we need to use the command called git init in it stands for initialization when you run this command it initialize a Initialize an empty repository, or it creates a folder called dot git. Or if you say that it creates any hidden folder, git. And inside git, we have different different files. Okay. Let me go here git bash again, and you see one thing, one change here. So, so when you do, when you did the git in it, right? or oh, let me do one thing uh, i am going to delete this particular dot get in get in it here and uh, let me open the git bash again okay so he we see here nothing is shown right it is simple the path let me do the git get in it again okay so if you delete the dot git folder you can ma make the git repository to plain repository again okay you see after running the git init command we we see the new folder git you can see here it is uh, created here and you can see this term okay master so master is the default branch okay master is the default branch or we can say starting branch branch means suppose um, you you want to start a company right so you are going to create uh, you are going to open your first office okay that you can say main branch okay you might have you may open multiple branches uh, in one country or multiple countries so but you have some home branch okay so that you can say that you can understand as of now here this we call master okay the default branch name is master here okay so you can ask me okay if i want to give it some different name okay this is again one interview question maybe in objective this can be asked the question is like how can we change the default branch name yeah you can change but make sure that you have the latest git version installed so i think we have installed 2.36.1 while installing this while recording this video so if you want to change this branch name okay there's no harm in keeping the master and all but yeah if you want to change the default branch name then we need to use one argument while using the get init command okay but before that let me delete this dot get folder again so that i can convert it to plain repository yeah. so do the git init then uh, we have one option call hyphen b okay and you can give uh, my uh, main branch something okay if you enter you can see here instead of master we see my main branch okay so this is the way you can go and change your main or default branch name there's no harm in that you should always keep the meaningful name but master has been in uh, master master term is used from so long so uh, like people are more aware with master 
but there is nothing harm in you choosing your default name you can use whatever name you want to use but make sure that you use something important one or a meaningful name okay okay good so uh okay so here whatever command i ran here you get init command that i use a git bash let me show you what happens we use the normal command prompt and why we should use git bash over the command prompt so let me go and delete it again okay and let me open the command prompt see i am using windows so uh, like it's command prompt by default so if i using mac so you will have terminal there so you can also find the similar difference here so what i'm going to do i'm going to run, run git init command okay it says that uh, it also created the folder dot git obviously because the command is same uh, we, we are just using different tool to run it now see the difference let me see here okay first thing here it is not showing that in which branch we are currently right my first git repo but it not showing in which branch we are here but here in the git bash you can see it here right so this is one advantage as of now but there are so many advantage in which you will go for git bash okay so this one difference i have shown you here but with the like in upcoming videos i am going to show you multiple differences as well now you can ask me or can you convert a directory which has some files already to a git repo yes and say yes we can do we can convert a create uh, a project an existing project or we a folder with the different files to a git repo we need to use the same command called get init let's see this in action so here we have already created one folder here called my first git repo and this is this is not a git repository as of now so what i'm going to do i'm going to open okay let me first create some files here so let me create one text document i will name it as file a so this particular repository or particular directory is not an empty repo now so let me create another file so this folders this folder we have files now can we convert this to a git repo yeah obviously we can do we need to use the same command called git init okay and we can see it's created a dot git folder and we can see in slash empty git repository in this one this empty doesn't mean that your folder needs to be empty before you convert any plain repo to git repo okay we can convert any existing repo any existing directory to uh, any we can say that any directory with files okay to a git repository using the same command called git init let me so show you one more thing what will happen if you run the git init again will it throw any error or something let me go and hit this command again we have already run we have already ran the git init command and we have created the dot git folder but let me rerun this command again what is saying that it's saying the reinitialize existing git repository in the folder right so this is the difference if, if you you can run multiple times and now you will see the reinitialize because we have already get in it uh, runs once so if you are running it again so it will not override but it will reinitialize everything reinitialize the uh, existing git repository and you can see name has been changed here reinitialized existing git repository here it was empty git repository now it is existing git repository because it is it is already a git repo and you are trying to run git in it again so that's all in this video if you have any comment please uh, sorry if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone